Hi, I'm Dr. Mora, naturopathic doctor. With you today to continue my series about gut health. Now in the last video we talked about leaky gut, what it is, the symptoms associated with it, tests we use to uncover it. In today's video we're going to talk about how we treat leaky gut. Now we naturopaths use something called the 4R approach. The R stand for remove, re-inoculate, restore, and repair. So the first R is remove the problem. The second R is re-inoculate with good bacteria. The third R is restore gut function. And the fifth R is repair gut lining. Once we move through this process, which can take some time, you'll be symptom free. So the first R is remove. What that means is that we wanna remove anything that's causing leaky gut. The most common things that I see in my practice are infection and food sensitivities. When we say infection, we mean any kind of bacterial infection, meaning any bad bacteria or dysbiotic bacteria. Yeast can also create this issue. So the way that we uncover what's happening in the gut is with a stool test. The stool test is, sheds a lot of light on the microbiome and any imbalances there. The other thing we really wanna look at are food sensitivities. Typically we run an IgG, IgA, a blood panel to see if there are any foods that are creating a lot of inflammatory processes in the gut. The main foods that I see in my practice creating an issue are dairy, wheat of course, eggs, almonds, soy, corn. Oftentimes if people want to skip testing altogether we remove those, those main triggering foods and we see a lot of this uh, intestinal inflammation go down right away. So it's really about removing the, the thing that's causing the problem in the first place. So the second R stands for re-inoculate. What that means is that we want to get good probiotic or good flora back into the gut after we've done that first step of getting rid of the bad bacteria. Some of the botanicals that we use to get rid of the bad bacteria can sometimes wipe out the good stuff too. So we want to make sure that we're putting good probiotic back into the garden of the gut. Remember there are four pounds of bacteria in the gut that have a wide range of responsibilities from controlling metabolism to the immune system to digestion itself. So we want to make sure that's working appropriately. Most people will benefit from a basic probiotic. You know, if you do a stool test with your naturopath, they'll be able to tell you the specific strains that you need, but a basic probiotic will have about 15 billion live organisms, and you wanna make sure to look for lactobacillus and bifidobacterium strains in that probiotic. Those are the two most common and the two most powerful strains of probiotic that we are looking at. So we just talked about the first two R's in the 4R approach, remove and re-inoculate. In the next video, we'll talk about the last two steps in healing leaky gut, repair and restore. I look forward to seeing you then.